But sometimes people keep something because it was a gift, but they don't like it and they'll never use it. Yeah. And I'm like, it's okay, just let it go. Somebody have, else can use it. I have a couple of those in my house still. Yeah. yeah. <laughs>
place to be able to find different um, organizations that are in need of, of these um, materials, right? Mm -hmm. Now, is it what's the other options that you have? I know that you've kind of went through with some of the clients and, and helped them potentially even put it in the right place or sell it. Is that correct? Yeah, we can um, assist them with dispersing of their belongings in multiple ways. So often there is some family that's taking things and that's a matter of, you know, if they're here, like we've actually shipped things to California for people before, like even little tables and stuff. Wow. Um, Cause we really want to help our clients in any way we can. Like our biggest thing is to reduce the stress as much as possible, because as you know, like moving and selling a home, especially for people who've been in it for, you know, 40, 50 years, which these people I think had been, um, there's so much stuff and they don't know where to start and they're overwhelmed. And that's when we get phone calls. It's like people are just totally overwhelmed. Um, so we assist with, um, you know, planning to get rid of things. So there's different organizations here in town that will come and pick up furniture for donation. And then there's, I think, um, I had suggested one of the antique shops in town to come and take a look at the, some of the things which they bought. So they were really happy with that. Um, yeah, there's so many great organizations to donate to uh, here in Saskatoon. So really depending on what the client wants and what's important to them, we try to uh, seek out like places like that to donate. So it's catered to the individual client and what their needs and wants yeah. are at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. That's, that sounds great. You know, it's, it's always, it's a daunting task for people, especially when they've been in that home for, you know, like you're saying, 30, 40 years. It's like, where do you start, mm -hmm. you know? And also those conversations with the kids are interesting as well, too, right? Yeah. So. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sounds good. So I know, you know, from my experiences that I have, I, I have a girlfriend with two kids, you know, is that I know organization for a lot of people um, is, is difficult. What would be your number one free tip of advice that you could give any, any, any one of our consumers out there that would be a valuable tip for them? Just overall organizing advice. Um, I think most people just have too much stuff. Uh, that's, or the people that I'm working with anyways, because when people are feeling overwhelmed, it's because there's so much stuff and it's piling up and they don't have enough time to deal with it because people are living really busy lives. You know, and, and young families especially. Like one of our biggest clients is families with young children. Um, they're all in activities. Uh, the parents are both working. And so they have very little spare time to deal with, you know, the clothes that the kids have outgrown or right. the sports equipment they've outgrown or, you know, swapping out winter and summer gear. Like that's those are things that we do for people okay. um, and helping them get rid of items. And, and we take away those donations um, the day that we're working with the clients so they don't have to deal with those either. So right. people really feel like, you know, a weight lift off their shoulder when we work with them quite often. Right. It and this could, sorry, the, no, I, I just remembered what your question was. was. The one piece of advice I would say, just like really take a critical eye around your home and say, like, is this something that I need, want, like even? Right. Because sometimes people keep something because it was a gift, but they don't like it and they'll never use it. And yeah. I'm like, it's okay. Just let it go. Somebody have, else can use it. I have a couple of those in my house. Still. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Understandable. So, you know, I know that you know, for everybody's a little like you're, I think that you're talking about more of a professional client that you do, you know, those kind of things for on a <laughs> weekly basis or maybe multiple week basis. Mm -hmm. Now, is it you are still able to be hired for maybe it's a weekend job, mm -hmm. correct? You know, yes. like if it's one room that they wanted, that doesn't have to be, you know, a commitment for weeks on one. For on sure. End. Yeah. I mean, we do have clients that uh, will maybe, you know, organize one space or maybe even the whole house and then just have them on a maintenance schedule. So maybe like two months later, we'll come in and do the pantry again or, or whatever needs to be done. But yeah, sometimes we just come in and do one space and then that's it. And and that is a lot of my clients as well right. too. But so, we do have clients that'll call like a year later and say, I need you for this space now. So right. Yeah. Well, that's good. Repeat business mm -hmm. is obviously you're doing something yes. right then. Yeah. Right? Well, I know when this is going to be airing is that we're going to be kind of that transition from summer holidays, what would be your, you know, some, some suggestions that you have for people that are transitioning into September and into the school year? Yeah, I mean, routine, we all get back into routine in September when you're back from the lake and kids are going back to school. Um, even if you don't have children, it just seems to be that time of year where, you know, people are taking work a little bit more seriously. <laughs> <laughs> um, so really, um, 
you know, there's a change in season. So always in the spring and the fall, I talk about like looking through your wardrobe, for example. Um, you know, for my kids, when they're going back to school, I get them, they hate it, but I get them to try on their pants because they've probably grown two inches and we need to determine, you know, what they need to buy for the new school year. Um, but it's good for adults to do too, because you're kind of transitioning out of your summer wardrobe into your fall war wardrobe. And that's a good time to let go of some things that you haven't worn in a while or that maybe doesn't fit anymore either for whatever reason. Um, so that's a big thing is the, the wardrobe. And then also like our outerwear starts to change. So you slowly bring in, in coats. Um, we never know when the snow is gonna hit here, hopefully not in September. But that's something to think about, like, you know, do I need to buy a new winter coat for my kid? And do they have mitts? Because it is nice to be prepared before that snow does hit, because sometimes it does take us by surprise. Uh, another thing is, like, the garage. So in my home, like, we always um, seasonally, like, spring and fall again, we switch out the garage. So sometimes we're putting things away and maybe putting it up in the rafters in the garage. Um, just so you're prepared for that major change in season. So basically it takes work. There's no way of doing this without work. Eh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, fair <laughs> enough. Completely understandable. Yeah. Um, well, I think that that's kind of the majority of things that we wanted to touch touch base today. Obviously, for any of our viewers that are out there, is that Natasha has been great working with our clients. And if you're in need of any of our of her services, um, she will. It will be in the description of uh, for <laughs> for our podcast there. And we can you can reach out to her. Is it we've had great experiences and thanks again for being our, our first guest. Wow, I'm honored. On Thank episode you. <laughs> two here. So thanks again. Thanks.